Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday Morning Mobility Flow. My name is Coach Deb, and today we're gonna be working, we're gonna do a nice mobility warm up, showcasing the short stick. You can use the long stick too. So if you don't have a short one, long one, can't get out of it, you can still use it. Um, we'll be working with both sticks, one stick, I'm kind of showing the, showcasing the whole mobility bundle we have. Um, have handy a towel, or if you have a glider, if you actually own a glider that you have at home you want to work with, if not, a dish towel is a great option for gliding on hardwood floors. All right, let's get warmed up. So again, starting with our short stick, what I love about it is I'm able to really get into the grips and do grip activation, which we will be doing in our warm-up. So taking a nice, wide horse stance, softening the shoulders. Let's start with our three planes motion stretch. So take a big inhale, open up, and exhale, preparing the spine for movement. Inhale up, full deep breath, and exhale. One more. Inhale, and exhale. Reach up and hold high, hold high. Let's just go right into a nice lateral or horizontal plane movement here. Nice. As you're doing this lateral tilt, pull slightly out, maybe about 10, 20% pull on that grip. Just starting to activate that grip activation and strength and bring it up high. Arms right in front of the chest. Taking it into a nice slow transverse turn. Nice slow turn. The movement is in the upper body. With the breath. Big inhale, exhale. Let's do a couple more. One more time. Nice. Bring it back center. Take a wide grip. With a shorter stick, I can reach out to the end. This is a four foot stick. If you're a little taller person, you would, we have five foot sticks. I believe we have six foot too. Well, yes, we have six foot, of course. <laughs> That's what I work with. That's my long stick. So four foot, five foot is a great shorter stick option depending on your height. Let's go ahead and roll back. Nice. Nice mobility working through those shoulders. Big inhale, exhale. Let's place that stick right at 12 o'clock. So strong grip right at the top of this shorter stick. And if you have the long stick, it's right about shoulder height. Nice wide stance. Drive that stick into the floor, radiate it right in, at least 40 to 50% pressure. Let's go ahead and just cross that arm over and open the key is keeping the stick driven into the floor so you have to you're working strength but you're opening up the pack opening up the delt lat let's add some movement so let's take a lateral lunge we're working in a flow a nice dynamic warm-up breathe keep driving that stick in Let's do a couple more. Working that lateral lunge, working those legs, bring it back center, and switch your grip. So again, drive it in. Nice white horse stance. Cross that arm right over the chest, and open. Keep going. Just the arm to start here before and then we're gonna work into that lateral lunge. All right, let's get ready. Lateral lunge, cross that arm over, and let's go. So explore how deep you can open up that arm. 
breathe. Let's do four more. And three. Breathe two. And one. Nice. Bring it center. Grip the stick. So I'm going to show you slightly at an angle here. Driving that stick in 12 o'clock. I have a strong grip at the top. We're going to warm up those ankle joints and those feet. I want you just to start just tapping those feet out. Little to potent here, just waking up those feet. So a little tap, tap, tap. Drive that stick in. All right, let's get ready for that right foot. Drive it in and lift. And lower. And just alternate and lower. Now I'm driving this stick in again, at least 40 to 50% into the, into the floor here. Let's do it again. Now raising both heels up, bring the feet parallel. So you're not turned out. Make sure your foot placement is in that parallel position. Let's go ahead and raise the heels up. Drive that stick and lower. Let's do it again. Raise the heels up. Drive, drive, drive. It's actually, I feel this, um, this is a little more challenging to do this with the shorter stick. But I've got a good grip on that, the grippy here. And lower. So let's raise the heels up again. Slowly shift the heels to three o'clock or just side to side, <laughs> doesn't matter which direction, you guys. Just alternating. Shift, keep going, shift. You're rolling, you're feeling it in that pinky toe and big inside big toe and shift. Bring center, lift, 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 relevé, lift up higher and lower. So bringing those heels together. This is a nice little first position or Pilates stance. Heels together, toes out. Keep driving that stick in. We're gonna do 10 releves, working the calves, warming up those calves and those quads too. Here we go. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. Lift. Four, five, Keep driving. Breathe. And let's hold that releve up. Hold, 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 hold. Slowly, slowly lower. Beautiful. Shake it out. All right, you guys. Going into, we just warmed up the ankle joints. We're going to work the wrists now. So bring that stick up. Grip activation. Palms facing down. I want you to think with this activation, 20 to 30% push. You're in that nice horse stance, one, two, three, push. Not too crazy, just 20 to 30%. Same percentage, pull. One, two, three, pull, you've got it. Feeling that activation. Now, Think 40 to 50%. One, two, three, push. Feeling it in that interior chain, those pecs. 40 to 50%, pull, ready, pull. Keep it there, chest height, keep pulling. We're gonna go stronger, 70 to 80% push, yes. Now this is nice and strong here. Keep that activation. Keep pushing 70 to 80%. As you're pushing, I want you to lift. Raise that stick up high. And pull. 70 to 80%. Pull. Nice and strong. Keep that pull activation. Keep pulling. Slow turn. 
Nice slow turn. Keep activation in those arms. Bring it back center. 70 to 80% strong push. Push. Really working those shoulders. Feeling it in those biceps. We're gonna do that pull and turn to the other side. One, two, three, pull. Now, twist, rotate. Keep that activation in that pull. Breathe. Bring it back center. Last one. Think again, 70 to 80% push, nice and strong. Now lower, lower that stick, lower chest height. Keep that push going. Lower all the way to the hips. Keep that activation. One more time, we're gonna pull. One, two, three, pull. There you go. Feeling it right in that posterior chain. And relax. Good job, you guys. Nice job. We're gonna open up the shoulders a little bit here. Keeping with the short stick. One more time, one more exercise here, and then we're gonna move to the longer stick. Here we go. Big inhale. Reach those arms up. And wall slide that stick right behind the head, neck, and shoulders. Bring it up. And wrap it out around front again. Now, if you wanna to try to go deeper into that opening, keeping those arms straight, showing it to you this way, you can either do this wall slide, but if you feel you've got it in you, open up. Just go to your range, don't overdo it. Bring it up. And lower. Nice job, you guys. All right, grabbing our longer stick. We're gonna move on here. <laughs> so, same movement. We're gonna go into scarecrow. Big inhale, reach up. I call it scarecrow, because it looks like you're a scarecrow. <laughs> Open those arms out. Palms are face down on top of the stick. Nice wide horse stance again. Okay, let's just go ahead and do a little mobility movement here. Just kayaking, wide arms. Now let's reverse it. Reverse, roll back. Really feel that movement in the upper body. <clears throat> We're gonna explore a little bit of a different monkey hang. So right here, before we go into that, it's a reverse monkey hang. It's gonna, the stick is gonna be slightly behind your right foot or left foot. Here we go. Let's start with that tilt. Your leverage is in that hand as you press down before we move into this. And let's take it to the other side. This should feel good. Breathe. Nice. Slow and control. Controlling your movement. All right, pressing that stick down. Looking down to that foot. I want you to try to leverage pulling with that top hand and lower that stick right behind your heel. So it's right behind the leg. Actually, let me show it to you this way here. So it's right behind your heel here, okay? And just hold, keep it there, keep it there. I'm gonna re switch my stance so you can see what I'm doing here. From here, you, that, you're gonna bend that knee. So it's your right knee on my side here. And just hang. You're opening up that whole lateral line. I'm reaching to the top of this stick and just hanging. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and explore this movement. This is optional. If you wanna just hold it steady, hold it steady. Coming back to that slightly bent knee. Look to the sky. And 
straighten that knee. We're going to slowly come out of this, lift the stick up. Nice. Let's get that up opposite side. So starting with that tilt again, opposite side, you're just going to dip down and reverse it with a breath. Big inhale, exhale. Here we go. Getting ready into that reverse monkey hang. So reverse meaning it's just behind the body, behind the leg. Top hand, I'm going to just like a, <laughs> like a pull stick. I'm going to push it down into the floor, right behind my foot, right behind my heel. Reaching up high, reaching up high. That stick is resting across your back here. Arms are wide. Now let's go ahead and explore it. Just taking a nice lateral movement here. Breathe. We're gonna bend that knee that sticks behind and just hang. So by bending the knee here, it's just opening up that side even more. Just hold. Big inhale, exhale. And let's look to the sky. Slowly come out of that and go ahead and lift that stick. Nice. So bring that, bring your arms in and go ahead and reach up high and lower. Lowering the stick right to the hips. So place that stick right across the hips. We're gonna do a little hamstring stretch, getting into the lower body here. Feet parallel. Take a big inhale. Exhale, start your hinge, opening up those arms. Go as deep as you can go into this hamstring stretch, back of the legs. Let the head, neck relax. Hold. Slowly, slowly come out of it. So start by softening the knees. And I want you to just C curve in the spine a bit and round out bone by bone. Bring those hands in. Roll those shoulders back. Nice. Grab your second stick. So we are gonna move into um, a lateral lunge with a little thoracic rotation, showcasing two sticks. If you have one stick, you can do this with one stick too, okay? So let's take a wide, wide horse stance, wide here. Bring the sticks right on the inside of the feet here. All right, opening up wide. So start into a lateral lunge. We're gonna take it to the right. Now, if you have one stick, you're gonna have the stick in the side that you're laterally lunging to, okay? So here we go. Take it, cross, and open that left side. Nice. Come back center, and let's go to the opposite side. Your grip is high. Now each time we do this, think about maybe going 10% deeper in that rotation and also in that lunge. It's a little bit deeper. Bring it back, center. Let's take it to the other side. One more time, one more time. And we're gonna hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Let's see if you could pull, pull that left arm back a little bit more, extend that right arm reach, really feeling, lengthening through that lateral tissue. Can we pull the stick behind even further? Now slowly come out of it. 
Let's go to that opposite side. Here we go. Big inhale, exhale, start to laterally lunge. Pull that arm back, cross that front arm over, hold. In this hold position, we're gonna see if we can get a little bit deeper. So the back arm, I'm gonna to try to pull back even further. Front arm, extend out. I'm feeling that right through that oblique sling, through the lats, rib cage, long line. Now slowly, slowly, come out of that. Whew, and just go soft, go soft for a moment. Maybe stir the pot a little bit. Keep those sticks on the inside of your feet. We're gonna do one more here, the human sail. Nice, all right. Your grip, just about, I wanna say eye or cheek level. You're gonna extend and push those sticks out right in front of you. Take a big inhale. On the exhale, open both of your arms. Looking to the sky. Really open up. You did that thoracic spine rotation to prep you for this. You might be able to go pretty deep. Now slowly, slowly wrap back and just take a little sit and just hang for a moment. We're gonna do two more. All right, coming to that stand, keep those knees soft and if you can take a wider stance maybe, extend those legs out. Big inhale, exhale, open into that human sail. Feel that opening up your pecs. Nice. That whole interior chain through the abs. Big inhale. Exhale. Wrap it back front. Come into a sit. One more time. Stand up. Inhale. Exhale. Open. Maybe you can get 10% deeper. There you go. Big inhale, exhale, come into that sit. Nice, and slowly come out of it, awesome. We're gonna take this right into, we're still gonna start working, doing a little strength, but still working that hanging monkey. So a double stick and a split stance. I want you to take the right foot forward, left back. Now we're in that monkey hang, you're gonna reach up high. Right here, so your foot is between those sticks or just maybe a couple inches in front. Breathe. We're gonna add, again, a little bit of thoracic spine mobility in this hang. So we are focusing a lot on this in today's class. All right, so let's go ahead and start to let the body hang. Feeling it opening up that left hip. Opening up those lateral tissues, really lengthening. Just hold, hold, hold for a moment. And we're gonna start that thoracic twist, that mobility twist. So I want you to pull right arm back, go into a twist here. So it's the same thing we did just a few moments ago with this turn, moving the sticks. Just feels a little different. We're opening up the hip a little more. Let's go ahead and rotate to the other side. So really be mindful. Keep going. Be mindful of this movement. You need to drive those sticks into the floor for stability. You need to keep that strong grip activation. So this is work, not just hanging out. This is. This is an active stretch here. One more time. Bring it back right to the center. Slowly come out of that deep lunge. 
Step up, shake it out. Nice job. Reverse. Reverse that stance. There we go. So again, foot between the sticks. Reaching up high, strong grip. We're gonna start just with the hang and start to dip that knee down and let the body just hang in, really feeling that in the hip. Really feeling that in the hip. Big inhale, exhale. Let's start that thoracic twist. Here we go. So pulling the stick back. Reach, do this with the breath. Lots of things opening up here. Slow twist. Keep driving those sticks into the floor. Keep the breath strong. Keep going. Again, focus on the drive. The irradiation of the sticks into the floor. Your strong grip activation. Keep going. Nice, you might get a little deeper each time. Come back center. Push that foot, that load is in that front leg and slowly come out of it. Nice job, nice job. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a little work. We're gonna work in a lunge, single leg deadlift, and we're gonna use these sticks as stability and weight, you'll see. <laughs> All right, so shake everything out here. Let's go back into that lunge. Right leg back, left foot forward. I'm gonna show it to you this way. Okay. So bring the sticks at an angle. So they're not straight up and down, they're at a nice little angle here. Your grip, just about shoulder height. Here we go. Drive those sticks in. Drive them in. Slowly extend them out. Start pushing your body weight forward. You're gonna need to keep those sticks really pressed into the floor for this. If you need to adjust your grip, adjust your grip. Start to go into that single leg balance. Hold, hold, hold. Now, with the right stick, or whichever one you want to start with, lift. Raise it up, and slowly drive it down. Now look at my leverage. I've got more weight in the back. More weight in the back. Stick is longer in the back. I'm gonna do a little casting here. Whew. Lots of things going on. Work in the wrist joint. Work in balance. Breathe. Let's do a couple more. Can you lift that back leg higher? Keep that stability. Slowly bring that stick back up. And drive. Come back to stand. That's work. Let's get that opposite side. So we're working balance, we're working core, because our core is supporting our balance, and we're doing a little bit of a arm work and wrist mobility. And the placement of the stick is really important where your grip is, because you want that long length behind you to change your leverage, to make it a little more challenging. Okay, here we go. Remember the sticks are at an angle. I'm trying to get in the screen so you can see them. Drive it in. Drive. Think at least 50 to 60% push or more, okay? Push the sticks forward and slowly, slowly come into your single leg balance. Hold, hold, hold. All right, lift that stick. The same leg that is in front, you lift the stick. Hold. 
slowly, slowly lower it. It's a little challenging on the side for me. Look at the length of the stick behind me. I've got a long length behind. The leverage is here a little bit challenging. Casting. Drive and start Ooh, casting. <laughs> Ooh, this one's harder on the side for me. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Yep, working that arm, working that wrist joint. Can you extend that leg back further? Can you do it? Keep driving that stick, keep casting, breathe. Now slowly raise that stick up, oh my gosh. Drive, look at the stick. <laughs> the stick's going right down. Drive, drive, drive. And come on up. Well, hopefully where you felt this was in that glute too. The load was in that leg. Nice job. <laughs> All right. We're going to go into a nice little bow and arrow um, series here. I remember I said to have a towel handy or something that you can glide on. Dish towel. Dish towel. <laughs> All right, let's just have it handy so you can glide. Now, I realize if you're on carpet, what works for carpet if you don't have a glider is paper plate. A paper plate. I should have said that in the beginning. So if you want to go grab a paper plate, if you have one handy if you're on carpet. All right. Here we go. So let's go ahead and start in a nice white horse stance. Just have that um, towel handy for a moment. You're placing the stick, if we've got it at 12, you're gonna take it to one, two. Not at three o'clock, right about two o'clock, okay? Reach up, high grip. Drive that stick in. You're going to just hang and slightly hinge forward here. The bow and arrow activation is going to be a little different. We're going to be working across the body, working that tricep. Here we go. Drive into the floor here. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Activate. Try to keep those hips stable. Breathe. And ease off. Let's go ahead and do two more. Take a big inhale, exhale, activate. Drive, 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 and ease off. One more time, take a big inhale, exhale, activate. Here we go, push into that stick. Draw that navel into your spine. Keep your powerhouse engaged here. Pulling with that top hand and ease off. Nice job. Nice job. Shake it out. All right, inside foot. Just go ahead, and if you don't have a glider, that's fine. You don't need to do this with a gliding towel. We're going to slowly, your stick remains where it's at. We're going to slowly extend that leg back into a nice little curtsy lunge here right here. We are going to bow and arrow in this position. Take a big inhale, exhale, activate. The load is in that front leg. Ease off. If you want to try this going into a deeper extension of that back leg, it's an option. Take a big inhale, and activate. Breathe. So just being on that glider challenges our proprioception a little bit more. And ease off. And glide out of it. Nice. We're just going to do our traditional bow and arrow before we move to the other side. So take that stick to three o'clock. Inside hand is at 90 degrees, outside arm up. Grip. Now with bow and arrow, the further the placement 
it's a little more modified if you're new to this. The closer it is to that foot, it's, a, it's more challenging. So do what feels right. I'm somewhere right in the middle here. <laughs> here we go, drive, shift those hips. With the inhale, exhale, activate. And hold. Ease up. Shake it out. Let's do one more. Drive. Let's try to go a little bit deeper in that activation. Shift your hips with the breath. Inhale and exhale. Nice and strong. And ease off. Nice. All right. Let's get that opposite side. So again, we're going to hit 10 o'clock. So we've got 12, 11, 10. Wide, wide core stance. Reach up. We're doing that tricep activation. You're going to just slowly hinge forward. Nice, strong grip. Reach across the body here. Big inhale, exhale, press. Ease off. Let's do two more. Big inhale and exhale. Ease off. Let's do one more. Maybe go 10% deeper into that activation, stronger, drive. Here we go, inhale, exhale, activate. Hold. And ease off, nice. Here we go, grab your towel, your little gliding tool here. And again, you don't need it. So, keeping the stick right where it's at, maybe pull it in just a couple inches closer if needed. And you're gonna slowly, slowly glide that back leg into a curtsy lunge. Not too deep, just we're gonna do another one that we can go deeper in. Here we go, drive the stick in, reach over, big inhale, exhale, press. Now this is a little tougher. I want you to try to turn your hips towards me so you feel it opening up that hip flexor, that oblique sling on the inside, and slowly ease off. Let's go again. Big inhale with the breath and activate. We're gonna do one more, but we're gonna to try to extend that back leg a little further. And if you're not comfortable with that, don't do it. Ease off. Here we go. We'll just try to go a little more length in that back leg, feeling it opening up even more. Get ready, this is strong. Big inhale, exhale, activate. Yes, this is where I start sweating. This is work. <laughs> People are surprised at the strength that we can get out of this workout with the sticks. Lots of strength moves here. And slowly glide out. Nice, and bow and arrow is a great one. All right, let's get into our traditional. Nine o'clock here, drive, inside arm. Here we go, arm comes up. Again, remember, the further away, it's a little, you can, it's a little more modified. I don't like to say modified, it's just, if you're new, you might want to try that stick further away from the body first. All right, with the breath, shift the hips, inhale, we're doing three of them, exhale, press. And hold. Ease off. Shake it out. Two more. Two more. Drive. Shift. Take a big inhale and exhale. I like this position. 
position. <laughs> slowly, slowly ease out. One more, one more, and make it your strongest bow and arrow. Drive, shift the hips. With the breath, inhale, exhale, activate. Nice, and just hold. If you wanna just look to the sky or just head, head placement, wherever you feel comfortable. Slowly ease out. Nice. We're gonna end with a nice standing resting pose. So take the stick 12 o'clock. You've got a nice little angle here. So you can see it's just a little angle. And your grip is just about shoulder height, maybe, or chest. Light grip. I want you just to let your body go soft. Just let everything go soft. Relax the shoulders, relax the hips, focus on knees, ankles, even those wrist joints. We did a lot of grip activation. Drive the stick into the body with a big inhale. Inhale. Exhale, extend, spine stretch, reach, pull the hips back. And just, again, try to let everything go soft. Knees are even softened. Careful not to hyperextend. Elbows are softened. Breathe. Go ahead and add a little sway just a little flow if you want to go ahead and start to add a little movement getting into those inner thighs as adductors this should feel good this is all about feeling in your happy place right now <laughs> Take that stretch a little bit deeper. Try to pull those hips back a little bit more. Now this time, do extend and just hold. Now to come out of this, I want you to focus bone by bone coming out of this through the spine. You wanna soften the knees. Little posterior tilt in the hips. Draw the navel in. Slowly, slowly round up. Nice and easy. Let the shoulders go soft again. Take one last big inhale up. And exhale. Let it go. Nice job, you guys. I hope you enjoyed class. Um, this class will be on IGTV. And also... All of our classes get uploaded to the Stick Mobility YouTube page. Again, my name is Debbie Gleason. You can follow me at Debbie F. Gleason on Instagram. I do have a promo code on my profile, my bio, if you're interested in getting, a, getting these sticks, okay? Any questions, you guys can hit me up too. Send me a message. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday. Thank you for joining me.